We're going to return to that breaking news that we brought you a little while ago. That two year old boy who was the source of an Amber Alert here in El Paso has been recovered safely by El Paso police and that boy's father now in custody. Yeah, and facing charges as well. So KFOX 14 News at 9's Jennifer Cuevas is live at the scene right now with the very latest moments after that press conference from police. Jennifer. Yeah, well, we just wrapped up with that police conference and police asked us to hold this information for a couple of hours, but they have just confirmed with us that the two year old is now in their custody. He is receiving medical services, but when he came out of the motel, he was seemed unharmed. Now the suspect, the father, Miguel Montoya, was also now in police custody. He is facing charges of aggravated assault. And while the details are still limited, the police say that they are glad that the child is now in their custody and again unharmed for what they can see. I, I'm happy to, to announce that the, the, the Amber alert, the two year old, he has been um, he has been he, he is in our custody. He is safe and he is unharmed. Now, police say the original call came in at 12.52 this afternoon as a suspicious subject call here at Motel 6. The units determined it was a possible, the subject of a possible kidnapping. Again, that suspect, the father, is now facing aggravated kidnapping charges. However, police say more charges can still come. Now, police say they are unsure if the suspect was found with any weapons, and they also told us that the crisis management team tried to talk and negotiate with the suspect, and that's why this SWAT situation took multiple hours. Now, police did tell us that they're unsure if the suspect ultimately came out or if the SWAT team had to go in. But police say the SWAT time frame took a long time because it takes a while to confirm this type of information regarding these investigations. Police say it is ultimately their goal, the preservation of life for the police as well as the SWAT team. Now, again, they asked us to hold this information because they did not want the information to, that came out to trigger the suspect and they wanted to keep him as calm as possible.